This video is sponsored by Ghostry, a free open source privacy browser plugin, which makes privacy easy to enforce. There's literally no gimmicks. It's two steps away from downloading this plugin. Now, the Ghostry Privacy Suite protects your data across all websites using various different methods, including using a block list, heuristic-based algorithms for prevention, cookie blocking, unique UID data blocking, and much more. Later in this video, I'm going to be talking about WhoTracks.me, a completely free and detailed database that talks about tracking technologies and provides insightful analytics about the biggest tracking companies. Literally, there's no gimmicks. It's completely free, like I said. Hey, guys, it's Grant. <laughs> Okay, so before this video begins, yeah, I virtually failed this experiment. You can click off the video if you don't really care for this collection of failure. But I do talk about my thought process behind this experiment in a moment here. And there are a few things that you can do to at least minimize how much data Google is collecting on you to some extent. But uh, yeah onto this video in a thought process experiment. You're probably familiar with the scenario where you go to your Google search bar, you look up an item or some sort of keywords, and all of a sudden you're getting ads for that item within the next few days. Now, what happens if you're actually not typing in those items, but you're talking about products or things in conversations with people and your phone is present. If you look up, does your phone record what you're saying? Oftentimes, you're gonna get mixed answers. You know, Google's gonna say no, Facebook's gonna say no, but you know, some other articles are gonna say, yeah, your, your phone is listening to you. Oftentimes for their neuro-linguistic programming refinement, I guess, or, you know, trying to help refine their systems and recognize your voice. So in this super dumb experiment, I'm going to be taking three items for the next five days and talking about them in random conversations. My phone is not present within this recording. It's not nearby. So the three items I'm going to be talking about in the next five days are vacuums, uh, cereal, and hats. And these items are things that I never think about. Now, the reason I'm doing three items instead of one is I want to increase my probability or chances of getting ads for content related to those items. The phone I will have is an Android OnePlus 8, and so it's obviously a Google-influenced phone. And the default settings, of course, are that audio is turned on. So let this experiment begin. Probably nothing's going to happen, but why not try it? All right, so today is day one. I'm going to look like a complete lunatic while I talk to myself in front of my phone here. Uh, so, you know, I just want to say that I love cereal. And I really want some, but sometimes you can't have them because, you know, you have to vacuum your room and in order to do that, sometimes you need to have some hats to wear. Okay, pause for a moment. This is a really stupid experiment. As you can see, there is mega level cringe here going in front of this camera. But this is how I conducted this experiment three times a day with these three items. And here's me roaming around in my room looking like a complete lunatic as I talk to myself about these three random items to my phone. All right, so yeah, I uh, today is Wednesday. I've had no luck with receiving any advertisements within my three keywords. Uh, there's still some more time here. I figured this experiment would probably be the most dumb and trivial thing ever and not render any results. So, so far, my guess is correct. So I continued to talk about my items each day. And of course, like I said, the experiment didn't render any results. On my last day, I tried to be hopeful, but yeah, it wasn't going to work out. Okay, so today is my last day of this really probably failed experiment here. I've yielded zero results so far for my vacuum, my cereal, and the hats that I need to get. Yeah, so this video, a failure. And of course, you want to yield results in a video. Uh, I'm not fully convinced that Google isn't listening to you for advertisements. They may just be a little bit smarter than a five-day experiment. So with this being said, for those of you who are on the Android ecosystem, or if you use Google in general, which we all do basically, there's a few settings I would recommend that you go ahead and be aware of and turn off. Let's take a look at whotracks.me. It's a website put on by today's sponsor, Ghostry. Now, 
as you can see here, WhoTracks.me is a website resource completely free. You don't need to worry about paying or anything. This website breaks down the companies who track and uh, what is a tracker, and it goes over just the foundational analytics and statistics of tracking. Also, I forgot to mention that the data on WhoTracks.me is continuously updated and used globally for academic and policy research in privacy. So it's, it's a pretty good resource. So this video idea was influenced by WhoTracks.me. And this is because if you look at the common trackers, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Google. Uh, and, and we all know that Google tracks, it's part of their business model, but uh, it's pretty incredible. The amount of percentage, 77% of web traffic when it comes to tracking. So this is a really cool website. You can read through it and um, they keep it updated here with all kinds of different tips and tricks when it comes to enhancing your privacy. The first setting is the actual experiment, which is managing the audio recordings. With this, what you can do is view your recordings and play back what you have said to Google Assistant. So I would highly recommend you go ahead and go to your web and activity and then just go ahead and click this off and say stop saving. Uh, this will turn off that. So as you can see here, Google Assistant is turned on and you can see what I'm saying. And you can also play back those audio recordings depending on that setting if it's turned on. Next setting to turn off is add personalization. Uh, of course, you kind of know what this does here, uh, but this is kind of scary. To just give you an example, I went to a restaurant in the United States called California Pizza Kitchen. I downloaded their app because they had a coupon sale going on the other day. And I didn't even look up California Pizza Kitchen on my Google search. Just downloaded the app through Google Play. And of course, now they have it here in your ad space. And then finally, um, I would recommend that you go ahead and turn off Google Assistant. You can do that through your phone. If you don't use it on a daily basis or if you don't even use it, which I never use it, then just turn it off. Uh, those are just some safeguards that you can implement to maybe minimize what Google is uh, collecting on you. Well, yeah, hopefully you've sort of enjoyed this video. You didn't have to do the experiment. I did it for you kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it was a failure, but it's a good failure, I think. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, found something useful, and until the next time, have a good day.